Hello, it's Joe. Today on Game Requirements, I'll be testing the recently released Forza Horizon 5. Yes, I know, I'm late to the show, but I'm still here to party. And we're going to find out if my little Ryzen 5 laptop with integrated graphics and the heart of a lion can readjust the minimum requirements that Playground Games gave us. It's coming off a successful test of the Halo Infinite campaign, and we're now looking for our second win in this series. From the Steam store, we can see that those minimum requirements is a Ryzen 3 1200 or Intel i5-4460 with 8GB of RAM and a Radeon RX 460 or NVIDIA GTX 970. Looking at data from notebookcheck.net, a GTX 970 laptop is 47% faster than my Ryzen 5 5500U with Vega 7 integrated graphics, which is almost as tough as the last opponent, the GTX 1050Ti. But the difference is, Forza is a racing game and requires more frame consistency and benefits greatly from higher frame rates to reduce input lag. Although, it doesn't give me confidence by being greeted by this warning when launching the game. I'm not sure but I'm assuming that Playground Games is targeting 30fps at 1080p low settings since they are still supporting the Xbox One. So we're gonna try out 1080p at low settings to see how far off we are. I'm actually shocked right now. I can't believe that this Ryzen APU is hitting 30 FPS at 1080p right out the gate. So that means my assumptions were wrong. Playground was actually targeting 60 FPS. So we can change our target as well. I'll be going for 45 FPS. But before I tell you how to get this setting, firstly, we want to make sure that the laptop isn't being hampered by power management. We'll do this by setting Forza to high performance mode. By clicking on the start menu, Search for graphics settings, that's found in system settings. Under the choose an app drop down, I'll choose Microsoft Store because I installed Forza using Game Pass. Then choose Forza Horizon 5 from the select an app list and click add. After adding Forza, click options and choose high performance, then save. If you use Steam, choose desktop app, browse to Forza Horizon EXE and choose the same options. After some trial and error, the setting that worked best to hit 45 frames per second was a resolution of 1280 by 720 and graphic settings set to the same low settings. From the benchmark, you can see that it was basically there with an average of 43 FPS. Forza Horizon 5 is definitely playable using the Ryzen 5 5500U. Kudos to Playground Games for making such an optimized next-gen title. And for those that were wondering how it performed in the open world, I was getting well over 50 frames per second consistently, with it dropping into the 40s not so often. If you've gotten to this point in the video, you obviously found it useful. And if you want to support me, press that subscribe button to see what I have coming up next. Also, if you have any suggestions on which game I should try next, leave a comment and I'll check it out. Thanks for watching.